What's going on everybody? I want to make a quick how-to video on how to make this um, 3D perspective card effect that we're seeing in a lot of different um, you know, places right now. Uh, th there are a bunch of tutorials and, and they all, you know, they all varied in technique. Um, but I've been messing around with it, you know, for, uh, you know, about 20 minutes here now. I kind of figured out a way to do this without breaking out the 3D tool or, or anything crazy like that. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Now, th this first part, you can start however you want. I usually start by just giving a little rotate the image, and then uh, you want to do your uh, perspective, or in this case, uh, I just use distort. I'm not very good at doing a real perspective distort, so that's the best I'm going to do for now. So, you want to get this uh, 3D card effect going. So, really, what I do, concentrate over here on the layers, is uh, I'll do a Control J, drop it down below, and then I will shift down. Shift right. All right. Now I'm going to repeat. Watch the layer. I'm going to shift down. I'm going to shift right. Copy and paste the layer. Control down. Control right. Copy and paste the layer. I duplicate it. Down right. Duplicate the layer. Drop it down. Down right. You can see it's already starting to look, you know, kind of three-dimensional. You could even see the uh, the login menu thing starting to wrap around the side, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, the lines are pretty even. Um, so it really depends on how thick you want to make it. I'll do a few more just for effect here. Duplicate the layer, holding Control down. Right, drop it down, control right. Now obviously if you're over on the other side, you'll, you could be doing a, you know, down to the left or up to the right, depending on what, you know, view your uh, perspective is in. Do a few more here, down, right, one more, just for good times, down, Right. So, as you can see, we have a pretty cool looking image here. Let's crop this out. Um, you know, I suppose, oops, suppose there's a way to do it with a smart object or, you know, a number of different ways to do this. But uh, now, there's a few effects you can make. You merge everything but the top layer, uh, merge layers. Then you can do like a color overlay, pick some kind of color that's within the primary color here, and then lower the opacity. And now you really have the effect where it really kind of pops. You know, all the lines are even everywhere. And when you're done, you, you know, you can merge all, you can merge visible, you know, whatever you want to do. But really, you got a very cool effect, you know, with a very low learning curve. Guys like me that only use a handful of Photoshop tools, um, it's great for. But, um, you know, definitely something I'm going to work on a little bit. Um, try and replicate some of my designs. But definitely something you know, uh, cool that you can do in, in just a few minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, talk to you all soon.